Today we're looking at thermal management on the GTI. <laughs> Alright, so welcome back to the channel. Yes, we are doing some thermal management today on the GTI. So I've got a couple of products that I've purchased, one in particular that I'm uh, excited about fitting. Let's have a look at those now. So the first one is this. It is from Cool Wrap. It's basically uh, reflective tape or wrap that you put around um, hoses. So we're gonna be using them on brake lines and ABS sensor, hopefully. That's the plan, anyway. Got some reflective tape to use as well. And the really cool one is this. So this is an OEM part, and you know I love an OEM part, right? So this is off like a Touran or some VW SUV, and this is a heat shield for the brake master cylinder. Yes, so the plan is we're gonna use some of this tape on that as well for even extra, extra protection. So that's the plan. I think this is super cool. I love an OEM part, let's do it. So before we actually go and wrap this thing, let's actually just do a test fit to see where it goes, or let's confirm it fits first, because it is off another MQB car. I've heard it fits all, but let's see. So let's do a bit of a test fit. Okay, so that's where it's meant to go. Now, you see, you see the issue that we're trying to solve here. Now, I'm not saying that my braking fluid is boiling or anything like that, but thermal management's always a good thing. To focus on. So here we have our dump pipe right here and you can see it's about you know a hand width away from where the brake, brake fluid is and from the master cylinder. That's not great when you're on the racetrack. It's not a good proximity to be in. So this thing fits in there somewhere. There's two tabs up the top there. I reckon they go on there. So let's try this this way. Get in there. All right. So that's on there. I don't know how well you can see it or how well it comes across on the camera. So there's two little slots that it slots into, and then there's a screw hole down here already. And I have the screw that goes in, which will secure it on the master cylinder. How awesome is that? I'm really pleased with that. That's gonna offer some great protection. And with the tape I put on it, it's gonna be even better. So. Let's do that now. Okay, and here's the finished product. So I just laid the strips down on it and cut them to size and then I just folded it. The bits that were hanging over, I folded it over the back. It's, it's an adhesive, so it actually sticks on really well. How well will it stand the test of time? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out, but I think that looks pretty cool. So I just slot down here. Goes into those two tabs, and then they kind of, you feel it when they've gone all the way in, because they sort of can't go any further. And that's in. 
bit hard to see from here. So I've still just got to put the screw in down the bottom there and we're done. All right, so we've just done one side of the car. It was a little bit hard and fiddly to film. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the results and talk you through what I've done. So let's have a look. There's two main areas here that I wanted to protect. One here was the ABS sensor itself. Now, it had already started to melt the, the outside of the plastic. Because I'm running no, no stone shield here because of the larger brakes, um, there's nothing to protect it from the heat that this disc generates. So I've used this adhesive tape that I used on the shield and just wrapped that around the, the plug because that plug was, was starting to melt. And I'm hoping that's going to be enough. The sensor itself is okay because it's actually located down. In, that's, that's the ABS sensor. It's located inside the knuckle, so it's fine. But this plug was actually starting to melt. And I frequently get um, brake overheat errors in, um, on the module when I do a scan. So hoping that you can see that. And the other one is the brake line. So I wanted to get some more protection on the brake line because it was actually starting to melt. And if you can see the... The actual um, brake sensor, that line's actually melted. I'm not using it anymore because the pads I'm using don't have that sensor, but that whole line, see how it's all melted away? That's how much heat is being generated by these brakes. So I've used the tubing one that I've got, which actually has, I'll show you here, it actually has like a, sort of like heat wrap material on the inside. And this bit, you peel the paper away um, and you stick it. So it's meant to, you roll it around something. It was a bit awkward to get on, to be honest. So that's done as well, just to protect that brake line a little bit more. And I think that should be okay. I'm not really worried about this line here. It's, it's got some distance. Um, I may put some tape just around there as well. So you can look at that, you can see how melted away that is. That's, that's not the shape that it's meant to be. So these lines do cop a lot of heat. The other thing that I've done as well is refitted the air guides. So you have to modify them a little bit to fit the aftermarket control arms. By, by trimming the feet, but they do fit back on. And then you just use uh, zip ties again to get some better cooling. But yeah, that's one side done. GoPro stop. So this is the other side. And as you can see, a lot of heat damage to this brake line. So on one of the tracks I do, it's really heavy on this side of the car. A lot of heat's generated, and this is what I want to prevent further. So the plastic coating on this braided line is actually melted away. So that's why I'm wrapping it up. Same with this ABS sensor. See how it's already starting to melt here. These cables starting to melt, so I'm going to wrap that sensor and I think that cable. Okay, and there we go. So I've wrapped the ABS sensor as well as the cable and this brake line as well. I've used the, um, the tubular sheath around it with a bit of the tape too, just to secure it. So. I'm quite happy with that. Should be well protected now. So that's it. We're all done. We finished both sides. I've got a time attack competition tomorrow, which I'm preparing for. So I'm going to finish up with that. 
but uh, I'll catch you next video.